I think we've got this whole strike thing wrong, but first I want to tell you a story. And it starts with these notebooks. Because I opened this notebook right here, and here's what it said. And it reminded me of the journey that I've been on. Here's our short dog section. Make it right in the next life. Oh my gosh, you're so nice! <laughs> Sit back then. This is Granny. Oh. I'm calling you because I just She's listened just to your music. <gasps> here's a picture of me aged 18. And here's me five years later. Over that five years, I've accumulated quite a lot of debt. Where that's going is unknown. But what is known is that When I was poor then, I'm kind of still poor now. Ironically, Royal Mail have been on strike, so whether my strike letter actually gets there or not is another question. Okay, I found a post box. Five years on from that picture. Great, there's people coming. I'm like a journalist. Who cares, who cares, who cares? So I stand here five years on from that picture and I still don't have a house. I don't have any equity. I owe HMRC £10,000 from their f**k up, which I then have to pay for in interest. And I owe the government student loans company a whopping... Come on Dawn, you've got to say some good things about the government. Okay, I have got some good things. We have got a great infrastructure. We've got good, you know, transport networks. We've got, you can literally hear the siren in the background. Emergency services, they're here. We're not in an active war, nor is anybody actively attacking us at the moment. And we're relatively safe in this country. We also have a good military and actually relatively good living conditions compared to other parts of the world. I understand everything, we're all different, but I'm talking relative here. We are one of the more developed countries in the world. But there are also a lot of bad things. Let's talk about tax. Because what I don't understand is that I probably paid about 30 or 40,000 pounds of tax last year. Where did all that go? And how do I still owe 10,000 pounds? Did it go on the maintenance of these signs? Did it go on litter picking? I forgot to mention on top of that 30, 40,000 pounds of tax, I also pay tax on everything else. Council tax, fuel tax, road tax, probably water tax, VAT, you name it, there's a tax for it. So really I probably paid closer to £50,000 of tax. Hmm, interesting. In my opinion, the government's a little bit like this tree. It doesn't really know what it's doing, it's kind of all over the place, and it doesn't really have a plan.
Such a happy boy. The government are voted in based on something that no government should really be voted in for, and that is popularity. Not on actual qualification, and they make important <laughs> and they make important decisions based on their own financial interests, rather than that of their country's population, which seems a little bit odd to me. Yeah, both of these dogs are very much for strikes. <laughs> because You've got a whole harem there. Yeah. Harem. Because their mums can no longer afford to buy them Lily's Kitchen and the high quality treats that they're Aww. used to. Why do you think everybody's going on strike? Including get, your dogs? To get rid of the Tories. <laughs> yes, and I fully agree. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Because I'm just about Okay, so I just had a very interesting chat with those ladies over there, one which you'll see in the video. And Interestingly, they generally supported the strikes, but when I started talking about how I was a doctor and how we were going on strike, there was sort of an air of, really? And then we got into the conversation of how she dog walks, one of them dog walks for a couple of doctors, as in a couple. And I said, yes, but what do they do? Because she thought they were quite well off. And I said, I bet they're consultants or fully qualified. Because the point is, doctors are generally well paid, but not junior doctors. <laughs> and junior doctors make up the, probably the most part of the doctor workforce. It's actually very interesting to get the public's perspective of how much doctors are paid and whether they should go on strike or not because I feel like the general consensus is well you're well paid already but I said to them it's not about being well paid it's about the fact that it's so short staffed because a lot of people can't afford to keep working as a doctor also nurses have all left from the Brexit situation and the short staff the short staffedness is only getting worse in all truthfulness you can pay me more but i don't want to work in a condition where i'm stressed and having a bad day every day in fact that's kind of the situation i'm in right now because locum doctors are paid quite well yet i don't want to go back into hospital because it is so understaffed and so stressful and such a negative atmosphere why would I want to go and put myself back into that? To be honest, I don't. The point is that the government are there for the few, not the many. Themselves, their investors, and the rich people. So that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. tells me that the post box is right down here, but I don't know where.
in my opinion, we shouldn't be voting to strike. We should be voting for a general election and to get this buffoonous government out. Buffoonous? I don't think that's a word. Baffonetic. Stupid. Idiotic. Government. Which is why I voted your reaction to it. What? Why is it on party paper? <laughs> this isn't a party situation. Are you joking? No. Bloody hell. <laughs>